looking at 40 than you are now at 30, correct? I don't think better is the right word. I'll be different and beautiful in a different way. So, uh, but that's not what I'm asking. I'll even grant that you may very well be still attractive sure. at mm -hmm. 30, but I'm asking if you will be more attractive at 40 than you are now at 30. Honestly, with my track record, I get hotter every year, so okay. it's possible. And then to be just <laughs> yes. going back, one point of clarification, you consider yourself more attractive now at 30 than you were at 20. Yes. I learned okay. what works for me and what looks best. You on do me. actually have a TikTok on this. Nick, can you pull that up? It's it's like a photo <laughs> one. It's I don't know exactly which one, but it's like a photo. I got it. You got it? Okay, pull it up. Yeah, go ahead and pull it out. I look real good. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. I don't know. Oh, my name? Uh, oh, so it's like it's <laughs> Will you be better looking at 50 as compared to 30? Maybe. Just pull it up. Hold on. Go back. Hold on. Why is it not? I know. It's not working for some reason. Okay. I'll come behind the scenes to try to figure that out. But you just pull it up. Okay. Okay. And then there's the next one, realizing I don't look 21 anymore. So that's you at 21. Mm -hmm. Next. Play. There's... <laughs> Love. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so better looking at 50? Maybe. Then you are now at 30? If I keep my skincare regimen, yes. What about 60? <laughs> better looking I'm going to be a hot tattooed gilf. Sure, you, you might still be hot. Better looking Maybe. as to my current day and age? Yeah, comparatively. Maybe not. 60s is kind of where it would, you think it would, that's when it goes downhill. Botox 60. is a life son. Like, it's okay. a lifesaver. All right. It. What about you? Do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years? Than <clears throat> I do because I've been, you know, I got sober. I'm working on my health. I truly think being healthy on the inside and that I'm doing that now. I wish I'd started earlier in my earlier 20s and maybe not have ever gone down that path. Mm -hmm. But now that I am, I do think I will look better because I look You've recently started to get healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recently. And then when you were like much younger, you were mm -hmm. very unhealthy. Yeah. Do I have that right? Yes. Okay. But wouldn't, I mean, if it's just recently that you've started to try to become more healthy, mm -hmm. wouldn't that just have been a gradual accumu accumulation over time? I think it could be, but I think, hmm. I mean, I'm more talking about, like, I don't want to get into all the details, but how I treat myself. And I think that by Are you the talking like drug use, eating disorders, all that kind of stuff, okay. I, older people in their 40s have told me they know now who paid attention and took care of themselves in their 20s and who didn't. Mm -hmm. So Wear that's kind sunscreen. of what I am thinking about is I think at some point I will be more attractive. Like I think 33 is going to be my prime. That's what I'm <laughs> whatever. Okay. But I do think everyone ages and it goes downhill right. in some but, way. So will you be more attractive in 10 years time? So 38 10 as compared years, to now 38? Yeah. I think that'll be at the beginning of the decline. Okay. But I think I'll still look pretty good. And what about I think that I'll look good, but not, I mean, it's just different. Sunscreen. Uh, and, <laughs> and are you better looking now at 28 than you were at 18? Oh, for sure. What about you? I think I will, yeah. But I'm also pretty young in comparison to a lot of other people well, at the so, table. So you're 22. So, so will, do you think you'll be better looking at 32 than you are now? I'm 23. But yeah, Didn't I say, do. I, I know. I pro 22. My birthday was really recent, so okay, I, I messed up myself. Okay, will you be better looking at 33? <laughs> I do. But that's just, I have a lot of friends that are in their 30s. And I mean, I've seen pictures of them at 21 and 31. And I'm like, damn, like y'all really matured and it looks really good. But I do think there's a point where it will decline, of course. Yeah. 43? Yeah, I think, of course, after 30, like, I think it will start to decline. But so will you be more attractive you know? at 43 than you are now at 23? I don't think so, okay. no. Um, yeah, I honestly, I mean, I think that as long as I continue on the path that I'm on right now, I think every year of my I can't wait to age. I can't wait to turn gray. I can't wait to grow old with Liza. I can't wait, like, every year. And, and I got to say, like, everyone who knows me in my personal life, the last six months to a year, I consistently get told they've never seen me happier. They've never seen my skin lighter. They've never seen me smile. And I think it's just going to continue because I love what I'm doing and I'm not going to okay. stop. So, Well, not totally an answer to the question, but so you're 27. Do you think you'll be better looking at 37 than you are now? Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be a mom by then and even happier. I'm going to just Ulysses keep doing more. Ulysses the Pagan donated $200. Woman in the red, no, of course you won't better looking. You will droop. 
In fact, that bird tat will turn into a pterodactyl. And the, the beautiful thing like about that, though, is I no longer live bird a life tat. that's centered around men's opinions of me. All okay. that matters to me is how me and my wife feel about me, and I know that we both think each other are beautiful. So sure. all those comments are kind of a joke to me because I'm going to go home and have a fucking awesome night. <laughs> I love my life, and I think I feel yeah. beautiful, and I think I'm going to feel more beautiful every year. So... Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, do you guys want to get laid or not? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy in my life. I could care less if he thinks I look like a pterodactyl or whatever. Okay. I mean, I don't so, want him. <laughs> so, the question is, will you be better looking at 37 than you are yes. at 27? Yes, yeah, okay, I'm going to be 40, more joyful. 47. Every decade that I keep doing what I want to do with my life, and every decade I keep loving my wife and my future children and keep loving myself and taking care of myself, sure, my skin will get wrinkly, my hair will get gray, but I find so much beauty in that when you can see that you've loved yourself through that. So mm -hmm. I'm so excited to turn 30 now. Like when I was in my earlier 20s, especially as a sex worker, I was kind of scared of, oh, I'm not going to be attractive anymore. I could care less. I feel beautiful. It's a perspective really, shift. You're mm -hmm. 33. Yes. Do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years time at 43? I, I do. Okay. Yes. What about 53? I had my... I do. I look much different. I had my baby fat. I actually went on, I call it Operation Sex Goddess Body. My viewers know. But I went on a really intense mission, mission fitness journey to sculpt the body I wanted, almost like an journey. athlete. It was another, we're all about the journeys, about aren't we? And you're journeys. along with me for the journey. Oh, this guy. And uh, yeah, so it allowed me to step into a whole new power I didn't even know. And okay. so, so and, and to implement later on, I have the everything going now. For 40s, 50s. So better so looking good. 43, better looking yeah. 53, yeah, 63. So. Sure. As compared to now at 33. 63, mm, but. But 53, 40, 50, yes. Sure. Okay. 60 might be. And were sure. you better looking at 23 than you are now no. at 33? No, because of everything I just said, no. I had a major glow up. Okay. Do you yeah. think you'll be better looking at 31 than you are now? I think so, yeah. 41? Yeah. 51? Yeah. yeah. Be better looking at 51 than at 21? Probably not, no. Well, you just said yeah. Wait, sorry, I was confused. You're yeah. 21. Better looking at 31? Yes. Better looking at 41? Maybe, yeah. Better looking at 51? Probably not. That's like after menopause. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What about you? I'm hotter at 30 than at 20 because I was fat and was really fat, but I'm not going to be hotter at 40. Okay. Definitely. All right. These are certainly interesting answers. Do you guys think that there's no uh, objectivity when it comes to beauty? Absolutely. You can look at someone and have a general idea that, yes, they're an attractive <clears throat> person. Even if I'm not attracted to them, I can see that. Like, I can see attractiveness in men even though I don't want to sleep with them. Like, it's, yeah. it's the same kind of thing. But I do think that people have preferences and that will sway how I they feel. Uh, uh, nobody else has to consider me a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 for it to make me happy. I consider myself that, mm -hmm. but it's beauty is objective. Everyone yeah. finds something else beautiful, so no yeah, one, everyone no one else beauty. has to find me that yeah. beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. I don't really need anyone else That's to tell right. me or confirm my thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone has their flavor, although there are universal... Yeah, there's a Ideal universal beauty standards, and you put them but side by side. You know, women, so again, lips, big eyes, so men, me, um, chiseled jaw, but... Let me follow up on this one. So, okay. have you guys ever heard of the idea of the wisdom of the crowd? So, it works, it works something like this. Say you're at a fair, right, and you had one person guess the weight of a cow, right? They're probably going to be radically off by some, sometimes as much as 100, 200 pounds. But if you take 100 people... It, it, and you, then you average the answer, it gets a lot closer yeah. to whatever that weight is, okay? It's an interesting phenomenon. If you were to take 1,000 random men and they were all just rating you purely on looks, not on your glow, not on how happy you are, nothing, just purely on looks, what do you think that collective average, average answer would end up being from those 1,000 men? Now, is it... Men who are basing off our looks just visually, knowing just visually, nothing yep, about us. Nothing else. There could be an average answer. It depends if they like blondes, brunettes, whatever their preferences was. If they like, they just have the same general preferences you think they have. 
Well, that's very broad. I don't even but know. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's very broad. Whatever you think the general uh, preference. I feel like. You're, so you're just taking a, a sample of mm -hmm. 1,000, right? And then you're just going to average all of their answers and hit on a number. What do you think that number would end up being for you? I have two different answers. I'll just give my first one. But I feel like the average answer for me could be a seven. Do you think it would six, average out to eight, a six or a seven? Anywhere from six to eight. It depends on what about me they initially found attractive or unattractive. Okay. Or it mm -hmm. also, you know, it again, it's a broad subjective statement because it goes both ways for women. Some men don't like to let women feel beautiful. So they'll give a lower answer. Not all. It's just some men and well, I'm just, they I'm have just gonna assume themselves. for the sake of this that they're all honest. All on yeah, they're all be being, anywhere they're from all a, being totally honest. Could be anywhere from a six to eight. In reality could be anywhere from one to ten because someone who finds me beautiful, another mm -hmm. person could be like, I okay. don't like that bitch. So then <laughs> fine. what about you? I, I think I would probably choose like a six or a five for myself, but I also in my daily dress do not amplify or try to cater to the male gaze uh, like honestly so I think it would be less purely because of that mm -hmm. but in a situation where I'm actually catering to, I was a bartender so that was a big part of my job so <laughs> in those situations it might go up because I'm doing what I think they want but okay. I don't really know what they want <laughs> I don't really care don't <laughs> six probably again yeah like I rated myself a six I think it's somewhere fall around six or seven you think so they would average you average, out to a six yeah <laughs> okay yeah I think men would probably find me average I mean it's hard to say because as someone who did OnlyFans it was actually pretty successful I was successful in the niche of guys who loved petite women mm -hmm. like I don't have big boobs I don't got a big ass mm -hmm. so there was totally men who body shamed me and acted like I was trash mm -hmm. just because I look like this but there's also men that said I was their dream woman because of my body yeah. so but what do you I'm just I'm asking not sure. specifically it's hard because the internet confused me what men think because that was a crazy experience to go through but mm -hmm. I think probably average I don't I mean I know people like big asses and I don't have that so, so you don't, don't think they'd rate you a 10 in other words Maybe. I mean, I don't... Some men have told me I'm a 10 on OnlyFans, so I don't... But I, I would agree that there's going to be men I think if I'm trying to dress for the sample. male gaze, I can be closer to a 10. I think if I'm being myself, I probably don't notice me, okay. like Liza said. Yeah. <laughs> I would say a 9. I mean, in a little bit of a different way, yeah. I actually... Well, part of my fitness journey, what I've done to craft this body, right? Oh, I, I know. I do love a journey. <laughs> anyway. To craft the bomb body of my dreams has allowed me to tap into a power. I didn't even know my energy, everything. With that being said, this is a little controversial. I have no problem tapping into the male gaze. The difference is I do it willingly. What do you think oh. if 1,000 men were mm -hmm. rating you, what the collective answer would come to? I'd say probably a little more because I'm taller than the average woman. So some people like taller women. So, so you think the average answer would go up? Yeah. What do you think it would land on? A seven or eight. Okay. Five. Five? Yeah. Okay. So then, this is the final question I'll ask on mm -hmm. this. Think of the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in your life, from your perspective. Mm -hmm. Is she you? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So take whoever that woman is who's not you. To me. Those 1,000 men are rating her between 1 to 10 and you next to her. What do you come out to then? I kind of look like the woman I think is most beautiful, so I feel like our answers. Hers who is, might be who is, who is it? Megan Fox. She's a... Yeah. She's a, so you think, you think you would come she's out... She's got the killer blue eyes, though. I'll do you think you'd come smart. out similarly to Megan Fox? In my opinion? Mm -hmm. no, yeah. no, no, no. In the opinion of what you think 1,000 men, if they're rating Megan Fox next to you, what do you think you'd come out to next to her, then? Similar. Same, okay. Yeah, we have, we have different stuff that makes us equally beautiful. Okay. So both nines, both tens? Yeah. Well, I think she's the most beautiful woman, and we look different. $200. For all of you that said you will look better 10 to 20 years in the future, will you also be more delusional then? Youth is wasted on the yes. young. <laughs> yeah, so Eat whoever it. the second most so, beautiful woman I mean, is. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I think I You're tend to be... Way drawn by media and what is whatever is projected to me I tend to compare myself to and sure. I don't like comparing myself to women I really don't I feel like we all are different and I don't do that to men either so <laughs> I I wouldn't like to answer that because I 
just wouldn't rate myself compared. But if I was forced to, I'd probably rate myself lower because I always do that in my brain. I'm if like, you're if you're compared up yeah. to your idea of what you think the most beautiful yeah, woman is. Yeah, I would rate myself lower for sure. Yeah. Who's the most beautiful woman you can think of? I can't name someone off the top of my head. I'm just picturing pretty people, honestly. <laughs> like, I can't give you a specific person. Okay. But, it, <laughs> but I think I would come it, yeah. out lower, okay. yeah. <laughs> I think Liza is the most beautiful sure, woman. Sure, second most beautiful so, woman. Second to her. <laughs> I genuinely believe most women are beautiful in their own, any body type. And I'm not saying this to be some liberal on the show. I genuinely <laughs> find every individual person to be beautiful in their own way. I, believe, I find all human beings to be beautiful Someone in their own way. When I see who they really are, not who they're trying to be to the camera or mm-hmm. trying to be in public, if I see who they actually are at their core, I can always find something about them that's attractive. Yeah. I can Is find Hillary something Clinton attractive about anyone. Oh, what? Is Hillary Clinton at 10? No. I mean... Like, probably be just based on, just based on physical beauty. I guess it's like, are you asking me, do I find her attractive? I'm person? just asking like, physical beauty. I say no I don't think both. she's ugly. I mean, I really don't. Is she a 10? It, depend, it depends on whose standards. Your standards. Um, I would, I would if hit, she's happy like, and being authentically Hillary herself, Clinton. I don't know if she's happy. I don't follow her anymore. <laughs> but like, if she's happy doing what she's doing, then I think she's beautiful. So if she hates what she's dude, doing and living me. a lie, then I think it shows on your face that you're living a lie. Like, miserable people aren't pretty. So is that a 10? I don't. I don't. I honestly haven't followed Hillary Clinton in a few years. Like I don't. I don't really know what she's doing with her life, and I didn't really support her the first time around. Twenty sixteen election was sure. Hillary physically, Clinton. if if you're comparing to what America's next top model considers beautiful, no, Hillary Clinton's not beautiful compared okay, to that. Okay, where would you put her? I don't. I don't rate women the way men do. So it's you hard just for me did. To that. You just rated her. I I, I. I. gave you what society wants me to say. It's not what I actually feel like. Like. I yeah. Really okay. Don't. So then, based on societal standards. <laughs> based on societal standards, they would say she's ugly. But I don't feel that way personally. But okay. I. I can see what society thinks and understand what society thinks and also not agree with it. Like I know that's how it is, but I don't live my life that way. When I go home, I'm. I'm not going to be in the world you guys all live in. I'm going to be really happy with my wife, not giving a fuck what anyone thinks about me. Who's the most Beautiful woman you could think of. What's her name? A little lady called Pam Anderson. Okay. <laughs> She's in spo. She's in spoke. Wait, what? Pam Anderson, which decade? We're talking Tommy peak. Lee era. Yeah, we're talking peak. That ain't fucking now, so we're weird. talking peak. No, no, no. We're talking peak. Like the nineties or like, yeah. yeah, but oh. that's why I called my I'm not gonna say journey. I know it's a trigger word for you. <laughs> it's a trigger word for you. I see. Yeah, and I don't know why you hate journey so much. What you gotta do? What do you have against? I mean, the band's stuff? okay, but I don't <laughs> know why every woman's on the same fucking but, journey. Uh, no, but no, that's why I call it Operation Sex Goddess Body, because that's what I think. That just super fucking hot what? ideal. And, and there's so nothing where, wrong so with where, that. Right? So where do you end up? On the scale, well, of, her, I, I'm judging natural. Hang on, just, hang on, hang on. Okay, all right. It's going to be hyper specific. Here's Pam Anderson. 1,000 men are rating her. We're looking for their average answer. You're right next to her. They're rating you next. Are we going to have you guys do this? You and Ryan Reynolds yeah, I'll do back it. to back? Sure. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead. Uh, well, she has the fake tits. Mine are real. So that's a preferential thing. Then spermy eyebrows from the 90s. You know, I don't know. I, I, I'm i confident in saying we'd go pretty much toe to toe. Okay. Yeah. i say by comparison, probably compare myself as lower. Okay. Yeah. If I thought of someone, Elizabeth Taylor, I'd be like a two. A two. A two. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to give you the same exact answer that you guys all gave me. The most beautiful man in the world, the hottest guy I can think of. I'm even better looking than him. There's no guy I can think of on planet Earth who's even close. I'm the best looking dude who's ever lived by my own estimation. Just humor me. Pick a guy. Play a game. I'll tell you what. As soon as you stop lying to me, I'll stop lying to you. You ready? I actually Where do you actually that. fucking rate next to Pamela Anderson in her peak? I Tell the truth. I think I'd go toe-to-toe with Pamela Anderson. Okay, Anderson. great. Then I'll go toe-to-toe. I'll get on this table Then right I'll now. go toe-to-toe to with Jason Momoa. Brad Pitt. Brad, yes. I can get behind Brad. Brad Pitt in Legends of the he Fall. Can get, he that's can this guy he right here. If I'm you, so happy for you. Okay. That's me. I'm glad. Oh, you I think dis- we can all You disagree agree on with that. that assessment? Sure. Yeah. You agree? Sure. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, we'll I sit have, here and lie to each other the rest of the night. That's a good idea. I like it. I like it. Okay. That was an interesting one. Just two que- two last questions on this. Okay. Do people get wrinkles as they get older? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get wrinkles, marks on your face, discoloration, yeah. et cetera. I think that's also Wrinkly genetic. Balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's also genetic. 
Well, I mean, anyone on a long time. I mean, time anyone line. anyone I mean, aging does wrinkles. get wrinkles, but it, it's some people are genetically some worse. Uh, genetically yeah. predisposed to have more stress. than others. Yeah. Yeah, stress, sure. smoking, stress. drugs, sure. environmental yeah. factors. So, puke box donated two hundred dollars. <laughs> Just a small town women living in a lonely world. <laughs> they slashed them, took the midnight like train, the going box. anywhere. Yeah. Just a city soy boy, boy, born and raised in South LA. <laughs> Z slash Zer took the midnight that train, is... going anywhere. That was I'll give it lonely to creativity. Boy, give him, just a give small a jukebox to creativity. Boy. All right. And then we have Fine. one. Who's I'm the band? I'll let this one come in. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's a, well, okay. On, I knew you know that. So <laughs> journey, but that was a meta moment. <laughs> Hold on. K Cop. That was good. Donated skirting you questions I did that for you. like crazy. Ooh, yeah, True. K Cop, thank you for the Streamlabs message. Appreciate it. You gotta let me. If I'm doing something, you gotta let me talk. Okay, so I was asking, mm -hmm. we do people get me. wrinkles? What? You don't need to whisper under your breath while you I'm talking You said you either. were being all aggro, like, let me talk. I was saying Andrew no, and I, I had a funny journey aggro. moment. Huh? He, he and I were having just a funny journey Right, but moment. if I'm starting to talk, you got to just be quiet. Do you understand? Why don't you tell him, too? You're just telling me really... we were in it together, buddy. <laughs> no, you were talking. We... Oh, so I talked to myself? He was like, the well, journey, stopped, I threw that out you for you. And I was like, right, talking. right, got it. He but stopped. he was in it too, so call him out wait, too. Wait, wait, wait. Talking at me doesn't mean I'm talking. <laughs> That's true. You were talking. He's such full of it. He was like, the journey, because... And it's then an when he started thing. talking, he was quoting I stopped journey talking. And me with my journeys, Andrew said, what's the band? I said, journey. Okay, like, so, I did that so he, but here's what actually happened. What actually happened was I stopped talking. He started talking. Then you started talking. And you can While I stopped talking. That's what I actually happened. I said journey happened. and you went, yeah, yeah, I, do, I did that for you. And talking, I was like, right, and then I stopped. Yeah. And then you continued. The point is you called me out and not him. And never because he stopped. <laughs> he stopped. <laughs> Just continue. We're all winning. Oh. Okay, so if I called him out, why are you trying to redirect this criticism towards you, towards Andrew? Because we it's were funny. in a funny. What, what is this? We yeah. like, let's just. Why are, what's, I know who like, cares. I think we were, were in a funny join. just, and the point was you called me out and not him, and I get it. It's like this shit. Go ahead. I'm being All right, a but good just allow girl, me to waiting. talk. Yes, sir. Bro, I don't need the fucking attitude, too. I got it from you as well. When did I give you the attitude? This whole show. When? You're just si sassy and feisty. I don't. Know I haven't why. been sassy towards what... you at all. The what entire do you mean? Show. You were like, stop talking. Can you stop talking? That's Can not sassy. Talking? That's my job as the host. I host too. I don't host that way, but that's okay. Everyone has their. You own. don't you usually do this have this podcast. many people. Have you ever done a panel discussion? Tucker Carlson. How is that relevant? Because <laughs> I can't hold my own. Like. I can. So, so, I I host panels all the and time. And when you host a panel, do you ever tell people? Could you stop talking? This now? is what how like when what do you tell them? Very them? dangerous is I didn't even say that. What? Tell me back to me what okay, I you're actually just said. Short. You're just short. You're just trite. That's okay. It's your style. No, but tell me style. back what I actually said. Did I actually say those words? You will. Did say, I say those exact you words? Will say. This is an incredibly. Stop talking. Stop talking. Yeah, that's Next totally. Sec First off, that's totally okay, you're within. Playing bad cop? Okay, okay, stop. That's totally within the purview of me trying to moderate this conversation. Okay, that's your style. As that's the host. Opinion. Yeah, that's your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. It's it actually, fact. Oh, it's a fact. Just be yeah, confident in, in what studio. you just be confident in what you know. You don't <laughs> no, he's anything he's to him. he's good at it though. He's I know. What are you talking about? Just letting him go. Just like just let him go. You no, know, you're, you you are you know what you know. I'm yeah. good at what? What am I good at? You can here. This would have been really simple. Oh, sorry. Are you leaving or? She said she has to Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. No, literally. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna wait till the next topic. It's interesting how women will come to other women's defense, even though the woman is clearly in the wrong. What's up with her? I've been pretty polite to her the entire show, and she's been. Okay. Well. Style. It's his Sprinkles? Journey. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what was the <laughs> next question? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just it's your it's interesting, like, how she'll have criticisms of. Anyways, whatever. Okay, so wrinkles. Do people get wrinkles as they age? Yes. 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 Yeah. Men and women. Well, why, why is it then that either one, in an effort to, for women to beautify themselves, why don't they then? Put on makeup to give themselves have wrinkles. If looking older made you more attractive, can you rephrase that? I, I don't they think would I'd do that. that. No, but but, but if like look, some of you said you'd be better looking in fifty. Uh huh. 
At 50, will you have wrinkles? Yep. More wrinkles than you do now? Mm -hmm. So then why is it the case Possibly. that women don't put on makeup in an effort to make themselves look older and aged? And then in addition to that, why do they sell anti-wrinkle cream? Why don't they sell wrinkle cream? Mm -hmm. To get wrinkles? If that was the standard, I think people would do that. But because uh, yeah. youth is more... I'm like, necessarily, valorous. no one, yeah, no one looks forward to aging and getting older and wrinkles, men or women. I'm sure men go through midlife crises, and so do women. Men go for Rogaine, women go for Botox. Like That's true. But wouldn't that sort of contradict this whole thing of... I'm going to be better looking once I get older? In a different way, but that's like taking it too literally. Will generally society say I'm more beautiful at 40 or 50 compared to now or mm -hmm. 10 years ago? Maybe not. But me, personally, I think I will be beautiful to myself. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I, personally, work on my tretinoin, my skincare, everything to prevent wrinkles because no one wants to wrinkle and age like that. If there's but, stuff to prevent it, sure, but, if, but it's but, not going to make me if ugly. Those, if the wrinkling, despite your best efforts to prevent it, will be something that accrues yeah. in 10 years' time, regardless of the efforts you do to prevent it, that would be a component of you being older. So how can you confidently state on one hand you're trying to fight the wrinkles. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. No, you're Dude. talking like that. You better look like Brad Pitt. I have yeah. See what modest Thank you, man, for the TTS. Looks like. I don't know if he wants to send in the thing. Okay. Dude, I haven't seen you we in a long you. time, bro. It's been months. Welcome back, dude. Thank you. Good to see you mm. back in the chat. Really appreciate your patronage. Modest Hickama? How do you pronounce that? Hickama. Hickama? Yeah. Did I say it right? Did I finally... Chikama? Did I call yeah, you Chikama? Yeah, Hickama, yeah. Yo, good you're to see California you back in the chat. Boy. Appreciate it. But I feel like I guess I'm wrinkles just confused. aren't ugly to me. I don't think well, why wrinkles prevent them are then? ugly. Because I like my skin looking smooth and sh soft and shiny. But they're not a, if they're not ugly and it's desirable. Okay. But I okay. don't have a problem I, with yeah, yeah. getting wrinkles. So you said you'd be better looking in tw 10, 20, 30 years, right? In a different way, yes. Oh. Well, it's a I'd little be, different than originally, but... No, that, I, that's exactly what I said. I said, I'll be beautiful in a different way than no, I am now. No, but you did, when I did ask the question quite clearly, you said, yes, I will be better looking in, in 10 years. In a different way. Okay, well, I'll, I did say that I guess this applies times. to all of you who think you will be better looking in 10, 20, 30 years. If I could wave a magic wand mm -hmm. that would advance your outward physical appearance without any sort of, you're, you don't age internally, you're not 10, 20, 30 years closer to the age you would otherwise pass away. If you were otherwise going to get cancer in 20 years, you wouldn't otherwise get it immediately. Mm -hmm. You just, you still live, uh, you'll still live the same length of life, just outward physical appearance, advanced 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. If you will be better looking in that period of time, would you accept me waving the magic wand and making you all outward physical appearance, age 10, 20, 30 years? Yes. I you personally, okay. I'm probably the wrong person to ask for this because genetically, my grandma lived up till 80 and she did not have a wrinkle on her skin and she read fortunes in Turkey until, you know, the day she died. She never, she was a smoker, a drinker, never <laughs> had a lick of Botox, nothing. <laughs> She that lady this, probably she, woke she, up on, in the morning, splashed water on her face, took a shot, and was good to go. She this, wait, so to <laughs> be clear, she, she looked the same at 80 she, as she, she did at 20. I, I did not say she looked the same. I said she aged, but she did not have a wrinkle on her face. So, and uh, neither does my mom at uh, 45. I have find you, it dubious. 40 have, like have you had any cosmetic surgery at all? No. My boobs. And were those designed to look younger or older? I wanted them to look very natural to my body, and I breastfed, so they are yeah, well, not women, sitting up on my chest yeah, as up women here. women get older, do their breasts go lower, or yep. do they stay perky? They go lower. You know, it depends on the person's body. If they're small most enough women, and there isn't gravity. Most no. women. If, they're, if they don't have the weight on their chest for gravity to pull it down throughout mm -hmm. the years, they could possibly yes, very well I, stay I perky. Okay, so that is possible, but it is not the case for most women. So why is it? Oh. 
Modest Hikima donated $200. I like my skin looking smooth and shiny, <laughs> like a teenager's, but you are a horrible misogynist racist if you like someone of the age I am using plastic surgery to look did like I say, girl Did one. I say Thank that? You, Thank did you, I say Hikima. you need to look like a child, or is that what it's, you're it's assuming because man. of your Well, presence. I'm just curious, if most women, as they age, their breasts droop, well, then why is it that you wanted to have surgery where your breasts did not do that? It was I, I didn't get a lift on it or anything. I got them bigger. I didn't change they just where they literally, sit. If you increase the size of thing, it's going to change position. If anything, thing. it's lower. If you don't <laughs> get the lift, lower, it, it's appearance lower. appearance is not going to be lower. It, it is if you're not wearing a push-up bra. Yeah. I'm not. No, it no is. it's yeah. not. If you, if you make your boobs shape, larger and heavier, shape, they'll hang down harder if you don't have it. Yeah, yeah but why not, not enhance do you that? Because it's how beautiful. Surgery works. Yeah. Do you understand that you could have ha had surgery which would have made them look that way now? What does that have to do with my Be argument? Because the way you're explaining, you're assuming that mm -hmm. I went in and got them changed to be higher, perkier, whatever, and I didn't do any of that. You made them bigger. That's not the same as perky. Why did you make them bigger? <laughs> because I wanted them bigger. Right, because, they, because you I thought that enhanced attractiveness, right? I do porn, so yeah. Yes, okay, got it. So if you think it enhanced attractiveness and you think that it would enhance your attractiveness to in 10 years, you would wave the magic wand, let's say, mm -hmm. right? That would necessarily include that your breasts would be now be drooped down lower, right? These will, in 10 years' time, they will be lower than when they're sitting So that's going to be an entailment of the magic wand, right? Okay. So if that's true, then why wouldn't you have them do the surgery to make them droop in the first place? That makes zero, zero logical sense. Oh, you want because me? Because I didn't change where they sit. I'm sorry. They sit exactly where I'm they I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hang on. It makes zero logical sense. I'm going to do the destiny triangle for a second. I can't believe... Okay, so let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> Okay. In well, 10 in 10 years, you're saying to me they're going to get lower, right? Yeah. Gravity. Great. It's crazy. Yeah, gravity. They're going to get lower, right? Mhm. Mm so when you got the initial cosmetic surgery, since you're going to be hotter in 10 years according to you, why didn't you just have them have them droop then? You could have had them surgically make them Am appear I to droop. Am I 40 or 50 right now? Is everyone just completely missing that what part? What is the different way? What does that mean? Your fucking tits, a few wrinkles I'm here not, and there. Is this shifting the goalposts or Mon Bailey? Totally. Is it shifting the goalposts? No, it's Mon Bailey. It's not a Mon Bailey. But it's shifting the goalposts. Not a Mon Bailey. So if shifting the goalposts. So are you so Brian, are you educated so enough Brian on breast asked, implants? Brian asked the question. If a magical wand is waved and mm -hmm. it ages you forward 10 years, an entailment of this by your admission is that your boobs are going to droop. Yeah. Great. Could you have gotten cosmetic surgery <laughs> to have made your boobs droop the same way they will in 10 years? Why? Answer okay. the question. Don't the question answer the makes question no with a fucking sense. I'm sorry. Because you're, you come at us for taking stuff too literal <laughs> uh. and all this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. He just wants you to well, say yes. If, what is going to make you happy? So let's. Okay. So let's just. Can you? I just want you to answer the question. What is going to make you happy? I'll go back and get droopier tits. You ready? Are you, you ready? Like droopy Are you tits? ready? Can we try this again? Do you like droopy tits? I'm okay. I'm sorry. Tits. Is it just going to be an ad? You get cosmetic surgery to your breasts that make them look droopy if you yes. want to. Yes. If I yes. wanted to, yes. So then, if a magic wand is waved. But am I fucking forty right now? Yeah, no. But you just got. You just <laughs> said if a magic wand was waved. That would if make a magic you wand was waved and he was there for my fucking breast implant no, appointment, no, 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 sure. stop, stop. I don't, go with I don't, go. I don't know he why you can't thing. listen can to what, what's being asked. I don't think you calm, are understanding. Calm down so I can ask the question because you don't even I'll understand it. <laughs> so let's go. try this again. If you can have cosmetic surgery, which would make these appear like they're 10 years older than you are right now, breasts. Okay. And in 10 years from now, you think you're going to be hotter than you are right this second. Yes. Then why yes. wouldn't you have just gotten yes. the elective surgery to make them look yes. like the 10 years in the I'll future? I'll go right breasts? now. I'll make the appointment. Oh my God. Here, okay. I'm moving on. I don't think we're going to make progress. This is a really, this it's was a... like basic logic. We weren't even getting into anything. It's just basic questions. I don't think you, it's not a basic question when you're saying, oh, if a magic wand is so if a magic wand was fucking waved, how am I supposed to make that decision a fucking year ago? All right, last question. How, how like you, your right. input you know mattered at last that point in time for me to make that decision. Before we move on, mm -hmm. how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? 
I'd be grumpy. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Guys, I gotta move. On. I gotta move this on. Okay, Lucky right. for you, I did eat breakfast, so this is. Oh, neat. Damn, I'm, not, okay. I'm not. grumpy. You snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. That's fine. All right. Kick I off. I, I Can we fire the one trolling in pink? On Us army only. I, think I actually kind of agree with you on something. Okay. I don't want to talk over this guy. My bad. <sighs> Now, was that my fault this time, too? That was me. <laughs> Are you sure? Ayn Rand, in the spirit of Ayn Rand, I take it. Ca- I'm about, sorry. Let's hear an apology. Okay, I'm all right, sorry. I take accountability for that. Okay, cool. I misspoke I was pretty class. sure that was going to be my fault again somehow. <laughs> I was telling him I actually thought I gr- kind of agreed yeah. with him on something. So K-Cop said, can we fire the only trolling in pink? Us, here, I'll pull it up. Us army only get to catch your show occasionally, and she's annoying. Sorry to be rude. Okay, thank you, K-Cop. Appreciate it. You have 10 seconds to respond to him. Go. Occasionally, she is annoying. Sorry to be rude. Well, K Cop, that's your opinion. Free speech, buddy. All right, buddy. that's Go your opinion, K Cop. <laughs> Live your life, bro. <laughs> okay, thank you, K Cop. Appreciate it. So, very much so. We need to very get back. Grid One asked a question a oh, fuck freaking three hours ago. So, Grid One, we're finally getting to it. <laughs> he asked, he asked, Grid One, are you still in the chat, Grid One? <laughs> Grid One, do women have any rights that men do not? Grant them? Oh, okay. I thought he was asking, do women have any rights that do men have any rights that women don't? But his question is, do women have any rights that men do not grant them? <laughs> so the Wait, what? Thank you, men, for granting me rights. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know right. what to say. Wow. Yeah, so exactly. great. That, that's a question, right? Do women have any rights that men do not grant to them? Meaning that women women have given themselves these rights absent men. Yes. Yes, I think so mm-hmm. in certain ways. Like, I have the right to completely decenter men from my life and make my life have absolutely nothing to do with them. No man gave me that right, but yep. I'm choosing to do that with my own free will, and my life's never been better. So I'm just going to follow up real quick because we can't stay on the topic for long, but <laughs> I, I just got to ask, if men collectively said that you couldn't do that, you couldn't do that, right? At this point. I mean, if they imprisoned me for it and collectively said, you have to make men the center of your life or you're going to jail, I guess they could try to force me to do that, yeah. Then I don't understand how you granted yourself that right. Because I was, I grew up in a society where, like, <coughs> where being, men grant you being that right. attractive in men's eyes, whether you want to argue with me or not, at least the life I grew up in, being attractive in the eyes of a man was basically a life or death thing. If all men think I'm ugly, it makes me think I'm going to have less job opportunities. I'm going to be less respected. I'm going to have all these things. But it's like I granted myself the right to literally not give a flying fuck. And even though they're saying disrespectful stuff, like any comments about me so far have been really disrespectful. Like, quite honestly, I've given myself the permission to not care because I'm so happy with my life. I cannot wait to leave here and have an awesome evening with my life. Like, I can't wait. I so I just gave myself comment, the permission to stop one caring. One comment gave you kudos for being like, ride or die, libertarian. I'm not a libertarian. <laughs> I, I register as declined to state. I, I'm going to be like voting for going. Kamala, but I, 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 I'm, oh, Kamala. I, I make my choices okay. um, based on the individual, not sure. based on an entire group's mm-hmm. ideologies. I have my own. Okay, so <laughs> I did want to get into, you mentioned that you used to, you mentioned like in your most recent comment, your past life or something. Uh, so you were involved in sex work and escorting, is that correct? I don't like calling it that. I just like saying sex work generally, just because I, I don't know where are these clips are going like, to go in my are future. You, are but. you like ashamed of it, or is it like I'm not ashamed of it. I just thing? it's not that I'm ashamed of it, but I do live in a society where if a viral clip of me saying that verbatim goes around, it, it could affect the way people respect me in the future. Okay. Unfortunately, so you were I wish you were a sex worker though. I was a sex worker, and you did you did do OnlyFans? Only yes. Yeah. Sure. Well, how long were you doing? 